Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the Westerville City School District Board of Education meeting. We are here um, as an official Board of Education meeting, but I know that we are very excited to welcome all of our GEM Award winners, the presenters, the family, and those who are just joining in this celebration. Being an official Board of Education meeting, uh, we need to do a couple of agenda items, and the first item is I would like to ask Mr. Griffith to please call the roll. Here. Now, if you would, would you please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? At this time, to further our program, I would like to invite Lisa O'Coin to the podium. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I am thrilled to see so many people here this evening to help us celebrate 27 individuals and one local business who truly exemplify the meaning of a Westerville gem. I will save most of my thank yous for the end of the program, but there are two groups I need to mention first and foremost before we go any further. Westerville Parent Council would like to thank our friends at Roush Honda, who have sponsored the GEM Awards for 13 years now. Their generous support makes this celebration possible. The following representatives from Roush Honda will be congratulating our award winners up on stage tonight. If you'd Give the crowd a wave, let them know who you are. We have Candy Lazarus, who's the Director of Purchasing and our fabulous gym coordinator. We couldn't do it without her, thank you. Jeff Lacey from the Used Car Sales Manager, Jeff's manager there. Jill McCarran is in charge of Marketing and Communications. And Cameron Dean, who is a new car sales consultant. Thank you all so very, very much. They will be joined tonight by members of the Westerville Board of Education and the District Executive Leadership Team. We extend our thanks to them once again for inviting us to share your meeting tonight so that we may present to you and our community the 2016 GEM Award recipients. Thank you very much. We have Vice President Rick Villardo, Dr. Nancy Nestor Baker, Jerry Cotter, Tracy Davidson, Dr. John Kellogg, our superintendent, could not be with us this evening. He is uh, recovering from the Boston Marathon, um, an exciting time uh, tradition that he completes every year. So he uh, sends his regrets, um, but certainly also sends his congratulations to all of our recipients. We also have Deputy Superintendent Mark Hersheiser and District Treasurer Mr. Bart Griffith. Thank you so very much. Some of you may be unfamiliar with Westerville Parent Council and the role we play in our school community. Parent Council was created as a PTA council and we serve as sort of an umbrella group for all of the PTAs, PTOs, and the booster groups throughout the district. Our mission, we encourage strong leadership in our parent groups by offering trainings and workshops. We empower families through parent engagement workshops and opportunities to share feedback and learn about important issues facing our district. And tonight is one of the best examples of how we celebrate all of our students, staff, and volunteers through initiatives like tonight's GEM Awards, our Reflections Art Program, and the scholarships that we award to graduating seniors across the district. The GEM Awards, which stands for Great Educator Mentor, recognizes individuals who consistently go above and beyond for Westerville students. You will hear that phrase a lot tonight, above and beyond. Each building solicits nominations and a building committee comprised of staff and parents selects their honoree. 
In addition, we have a district-wide committee that selects a business recipient as well as individuals for contributions that they make that impact more than one building or across the entire district. The GEM Awards came about when Roush Honda, Director of Public Relations, Mr. Terry Gordon, came to Parent Council with an idea to honor those who do so much for our students. You will hear a little bit more about Mr. Gordon later. Well, Roush Honda continues to be the most generous of sponsors and a wonderful community partner, and we look forward to many more years of working together on this program. To our gems this evening, you will join us on stage using the stairs over to your left, as your name is called, and a Westerville student will read a brief biography describing your contributions to our schools. And then please accept the congratulations of our sponsors and the Board of Education before receiving your trophy from Ms. Tracy King, President of the Westerville North Academic Boosters. And then please pause for a photo with Ms. Mislowski and then ex exit down the stairs to your right. At the conclusion of the program, we'll have you come back up on stage for a group photo. Last but not least, I saved the best for last, I have a, a few more introductions to make. A number of student presenters will be joining me at the podium this evening, and they are excited to share with you what makes our award winners gems in the eyes of our community. My presenters, when I read your name, would you just briefly stand, give everyone a wave so they can see who you are. We have Bailey Mulick, grade five from Hanby Arts, Math and Science Magnet School. Please give the crowd a wave, Bailey. Thank you very much. We have Brandon Mueller, grade five, Emerson World Cultures Magnet School. Ethan Lynn, grade four, from Hawthorne Elementary School. Isaac Lynn, grade four, from Hawthorne Elementary School. Susan Firth, grade six, Blendon Middle School. Maya Pryfogel, grade six, from Heritage Middle School. Ryan Mueller, grade six, Walnut Springs Middle School. Mallory Mahoney, grade 10, Central High School. Emily Akari, grade 12, from no Westerville North High School. And Jordan Fries, grade 12, from Westerville South High School. And with that, let's begin. Bailey is going to start us off this evening if you'll give her just a moment to adjust her microphone. Ooh, what a noise. All right, whenever you're ready. Good evening. We begin with Lori Shepard from the Early Learning Center. Parents and, and this is my, my apologies. I forgot to invite all of our guests to stand so they can shake hands. There we go. All right, why don't you start again? Okay. Good evening. We begin with Lori Shepard from the Early Learning Center. Parents and staff alike praise the dedication, compassion, and professionalism of speech and language pathologist Lori Shepard. Parent Carla Berbert shares that Mrs. Shepard is the first to volunteer to attend meetings, provide child care at PTA meetings, make dinner for sick colleagues or school families. She never turns away a chance to gain new skills to use for the benefit of her students and work works beyond requirements to be a source of information for families and staff. Her mantra of it will be fun, sums up her approach to her work and her upbeat sense of humor and positive attitude are, con are contagious. Nominator and colleague Nancy Brunson shares that she was compelled to nominate Mrs. Shepard for the Gem Award after watching her go to extraordinary lengths to obtain a communication device critical to a student's ability to interact with other children and family. Ms. Brunson comments that Ms. Shep Mrs. Shepard acted with the determination of a marathon runner heading to the finish line to complete the exhausting application process. Spending many hours outside of the work 
day in the on the application and in personally delivering paperwork to medical providers all day during the holiday period in December. She completed in a matter of weeks that normally takes months to accomplish. This child's parents recognize that gift that Mrs. Shepherd has provided their son and entire family. Her dedication to students and outstanding professionalism make her shine as a gem to the preschool community. <laughs> Next is Leslie Rosen from the Alcott Elementary School. After spending 35 teaching, 35 teaching first grade in the district, Miss Leslie Rosen has spent her retirement con continuing to serve the students of Westerville as a classroom volunteer with teacher Kim Cody at Alcott Elementary School. Miss Cody nominated her most talented and reliable volunteer, Miss Ro Mrs. Rosen, for the GEM Award this year and shares that her skills in assessing students and her ability to dis discern what support they need to become stronger students is invaluable. Invaluable. Each week, Mrs. Rosen is is in the classroom working with students on their reading and math skills, handwriting practice, and sharing her global pers perspectives by teaching lessons on holidays around the world. She works with gifted students on vocabulary and reading skills and serves as a treasured teacher mentor. Mentor. Over the past 10 years, Mrs. Rosen Mrs. Rosen's generosity and knowledge has impacted well over 250 students. Student comments were included in, in her nomination form, including this heartfelt thought, Dear Mrs. Rosen, you are just like my second mom. To me, you are always teaching new things. You are always on my side, so let's hope you get, let's hope you get nominated. Leslie Rosen continues to volunteer selflessly and is a truly is truly an example for us all on how to continue to serve so so society through our schools even into retirement a true gem indeed Now we have Shane Fletcher from Anhurst Elementary School. Shane Fletcher's involvement with Anhurst began nearly 10 years ago when she volunteered regularly in her children's classrooms. Even after her children graduated from Anhurst, she continued to volunteer at the school and now seven years later dedicates one full day each week to a third grade classroom. As a neighbor to the school and someone who has built relationships with both students and staff, Mrs. Fletcher was a perfect fit for staff positions, such as cafeteria aide and safety patrol advisor. However, while those positions occupy a few hours out of each day, Mrs. Fletcher most often dedicates much of the rest of her days to, to volunteer projects, like assisting in kindergarten classrooms, running math centers for older students, helping out at bake sales, the walkathon, field day, and countless other events. On top of all this, she served as a volunteer coach for the Anhurst Girls on the Run team last fall. Nominator Danielle Whitehead, writing on behalf of all Anhurst teachers, states that the entire staff appreciates all that Mrs. Fletcher does for Anhurst. They know her to be patient, understanding, and supportive of all students. They know that she is a true gem, and now you know it too. Next is Kim Millington from Charrington Elementary School. Charrington Elementary Principal Mr. Andrew Heck is known for generously is known for generously thanking his volunteers for all they do at his school. This year is no different with his gem nomination of Kim Millington, parent, volunteer, and treasurer of the PTA. He writes that Mrs. Millington is constantly searching for creative ways 
to make Charrington a great place to learn. Her leadership at the Imagination and Destination team entailed many hours of project planning and leading students to competition. She devotes countless hours to school fundraisers, plans movie nights, helps coordinate the walkathon and book fairs. Her organizational skills continue to improve the functioning of the PTA, and her financial skills enable the PTA to make good use of funds to provide more to Charrington students and families. Mrs. Millington is already working on her next project, bring a girls on the run running club to the school. Everyone knows that Mrs. Millington is always smiling and, the first, and is the first to say, what can I do to help? Mrs. Millington is definitely a gem at Charrington. And next, Leslie Walden from Emerson World Cultures Elementary Magnet School. Dedicated, organized, creative, tireless. These words are used to describe volunteer Leslie Walden as she works to strengthen the homeschool connection for Emerson families. Mrs. Walden has served on the Emerson PTA board for many years, organizing family engagement events like Family Reading Night, International Night, the Emerson Olympics, the Family Skate Night, and the popular All School Talent Show. She coordinates the sale of spirit wear, the annual plant sale, and classroom activities. As nominators, Angela Pittman and Marilyn Mueller point out, she puts her heart and soul into all things Emerson. She volunteers in the classroom and tracks and reports the hours of all volunteers in the building. This year, Mrs. Walden has taken on the ambitious project of creating an Emerson Elementary International Cookbook, which will contain recipes from all over the world, contributed by the diverse families of this World Cultures Magnet School. This project will result in a thoughtful keepsake for Emerson families, past and present. Mrs. Walden is a gem that shines brightly at Emerson and throughout the Westville community. Thank you, Mrs. Walden. Our next recipient is from Faust Elementary School. Uh, she is unable to join us this evening. However, we are thrilled that the Faust Building Gem Chair, Angeliki Bueller, is able to join us this evening and accept the award on her behalf. Thank you. Next, we have Kenwin Chambers from Faust Elementary School. Helen Dyer once said, volunteerism is the voice of people put into action. These actions shape and mold present into a future of which we can all be proud. Kenwin Chambers, dedicated to Westerville City Schools, began in 2011 when her daughter entered first grade. Since then, she has been a staple at Faust and offers her time and energy to helping students build self-confidence and a lifelong love of learning. Mrs. Chambers' weekly volunteer work with students ranges from reading and sight word work the special projects and mentoring students who can benefit from a little additional support. Faust parent Amy Miracle nominated Mrs. Chambers for the GEM Award this year and shares that teachers in the building readily see how Mrs. Chambers' kindness, hugs, special attention impacts students in a very positive way. Additionally, Mrs. Chambers offers her support on an on-call basis during spring testing times and anonymously donates much, much needed school supplies to students in need. The nurses clinic, Mitt and Tree, are also well stocked due to her benevolent contributions. She goes the extra mile with no need for recognition. Her altruistic actions help students grow into sex, successful learners who make Faust Elementary School and the larger community better places for all. Kenwin Chambers is a gem in every sense of the word. Stacy Keenan from Hanby Arts Magnet School and Math Science Magnet School. Stacy Keenan has been making a positive impact on the students at Hanby Elementary School for many years. In her third year as PTA president, Mrs. Keenan motivates and encourages 
parental involvement while promoting student welfare and achievement and ensuring that our teachers have a voice and a support system. Nominator Beth Mulek tells us that Mrs. Keenan's consistent and unwavering positive attitude has truly made her a role model to everyone at hand. To quote Mrs. Mulek, she is our face, our ears, and our champion. She is willing to jump in and get her hands dirty, literally. As there is always something to be planned or prepared, Mrs. Keenan is at the school on a daily basis working on PTA projects, fundraisers, book fairs, and the even popular Hamby Arts Auction. She runs the talent show and helps coordinate all family activities. If that, if that isn't enough, she volunteers her time each afternoon to assist students in getting their, to their cars at the school release time. She is out in all kinds of weather to ensure that students are picked up in a safe manner. Mrs. Keenan maintains a unique high quality approach to everything she does and never lets the team fail, even when it seems that resources are too few. She takes the time to build relationships, relationships and makes everyone feel heard. Mrs. Keenan is the most sparkling gem at Hamby and they feel so fortunate to have her. Next is Rebecca Lyons from Hawthorne Elementary School. Hawthorne parent Christy Palmer wrote this following for a nomination of Miss Rebecca Lyons for the Hawthorne Gym Award this year. Miss Lyons considers her students like family. When your child likes their teacher, they enjoy school and can really thrive. A bullying incident at school is prompted this concerned parent to reach out to Miss Lyons and quickly receive insurances that will situation will be addressed. As a result, her son felt, felt safe and cared by, her te by his teacher, leading to increased comfort in class and an environment conducive to academic progress. Mrs. Limes is known for her excellent communication with parents about each child's progress. In addition to newsletters and a daily take-home folder, she creates a data binder for each child that shows exactly how each student is progressing and serves as a way for students to take part in setting and achieving goals. Parents are appreciative of the effort to involve students in the whole school process and making it much easier to understand your child's ongoing needs. Mrs. Limes is appreciated for her friendly and engaging manner. Parents find her easy to talk to. Her patient passion for teaching clearly shines like the gem she is. Thank you, Mrs. Limes. Now we have Nicole Thomas from Huber Ridge Elementary School. A strong love for all students drives Huber Ridge gym winner Nicole Thomas in addition to a role as a duty at school. Ms. Thomas serves as the president of the PTA this year and works tirelessly with other board members to carry out a number of, act of activities to bring together school families. She has organized fundraisers like book fairs and walkathons to revise the means to carry out fun activities such as animal father-daughter dance, the mother-son carnival, and the movie, and movie nights. She has been instrumental in organizing classroom parties, recruiting other adult helpers, and providing games and activities for students and teachers have enjoyed. Ms. Thomas has nominated for the Gym Award by her husband, Mr. John Hermiller, and she, he notes that his wife frequently goes ab above and beyond expe expectations for a volunteer. She comes in over the summer to help decorate the cafeteria and works with other staff to help keep the area festive all year long. Ms. Thomas runs a school store, organize, organizing and pricing supplies for students to purchase. Ms. Hermiller notes, Mr. Hermiller notes, 
that in addition to all of these activities, his wife quietly, without wanting to be noticed, finds time to deliver food to Huber Ridge family in need. Huber Ridge community, the PTA, and the school are made better because of m many contributions of M N Nicole Thomas. She shines brightly at the true gym, and we, and we thank you for all you do. And now we honor the late Dr. For Christopher Warner from Longfellow Elementary School. Dr. Christopher Warner retired from Westerville City Schools in 2010, but during this retirement, he never stopped leading, teaching, and inspiring. Dr. Warner continued to serve in various temporary positions across the district, and last August was hired for what was to be a brief three weeks to help Longfellow Elementary reopen with four classrooms of all-day kindergarten. Dr. Warner spent most of his years at Westerville in secondary education or administration, so many who knew him must have chuckled when they found out his new assignment was to shepherd 100 new kindergartners through their new world. <laughs> However, his vast education experience and his ability to be flexible, along with his, with his grandfathering skills, made him a natural fit. While Dr. Warner was technically a temporary employee, that did not mean he worked shorter days or that he was only partially invested in the program. He was an important part of the team and helped put many new processes and procedures in place. During the first few weeks of school, of the school year, the staff met right after each school day to reflect and identify changes for the following morning. Dr. Warner was there to help every time. He also assisted with discipline and contacting parents and when short on recess aides, Dr. Warner jumped in to keep an eye on things. Those of you who knew Dr. Warner will remember that he always wore a jacket and tie to work. However, by the end of his first week with his new energetic charges, his daily attire gradually changed to no tie, a button down shirt or polo, and occasional tennis shoes. <laughs> you see, Dr. Warner decided that a wardrobe change was in order during recess duty one hot day when a kindergarten student decided to run home. Dr. Warner took off after him, and yes, he did catch him. <laughs> Dr. Warner would do whatever was necessary for the staff and students. When the principal started conducting research and gathering data, Dr. Warner willingly took over this process and thoroughly gathered and organized the comprehensive data. This was not in the job description for his temporary role. Chris's three-week temporary position was extended into October, and everyone, including him, was excited about it. Mid-October, when he started his next temporary position, he continued to stay in contact with Longfellow staff and wanted to know what he could do to support everyone. One particular student with some challenging behaviors grew close to Dr. Warner while he was there. One day, the student earned a reward and requested that he be permitted to call Dr. Warner. This student and the principal sat together on the stairs and called Dr. Warner on his cell phone so they could talk. This is the gem of a man Dr. Christopher Warner was. Sadly, Dr. Warner passed away this past winter. The Longfellow staff unanimously nominated Dr. Warner for the GEM Award because he truly defined going above and beyond for students and his colleagues. Dr. Warner was a leader, a friend, and an irreplaceable asset to the Longfellow community and who will be missed so very much. Here to accept the award on behalf of their father are Dr. Warner's children along with their mother and his grandchildren. We have Kimberly Palmer from Mark Twain Elementary School. With a smile on her face and a positive attitude, Kimberly Palmer shows up at Mark Twain Elementary School each day, ready to do what she can to help each student reach his or her potential goal. Teacher Allison Maselli nominated Miss Palmer for the Gem Award and goes into great detail, detail to share how Ms. Palmer goes above and beyond for students on 
at the school. Miss Maselli writes that Miss Palmer is kind and patient with students and takes the time to really get to know the students. She is working with, with, working with each day. Ms. Palmer eagerly signed up to work with students struggling with math concepts. Even though she needs to have a sitter to stay with her younger children, Ms. Palmer is quick to notice how each student learns differently and then comes up with a way to alter lessons to best reach each child. Ms. Palmer notices, noticed a student in her son's kindergarten class need some extra support in learning the alphabet. She decided to work with them for the first 15 minutes of each class, taking the in initiative to solve a problem and making time to make a difference in another student's life. Teacher truly, truly appreciate Mrs. Palmer's work with students. She is is a self-starter, a motivator, a dedicator, edu educator, and mentor in her own right. Miss Palmer puts children first, and for this, she is in Maisie Gym at Mark Twain Elementary. Next is Nicole Deason from McVeigh Elementary School. Coach, ment mentor, encourager, leaders, leader are words that can be used to describe this year's McVeigh gym winner. Miss Nicole Deason not only works as an aide in a classroom for students with disabilities, she volunteers her time to the PTA as recording secretary and chair of their school's largest fundraiser, the Fall Walkathon. Miss Deason's leadership pushed the fundraiser to a new height, and as a result, the PTA was able to offer a free science night and a free family night at the community center, which benefited over 450 families. Miss Deason has served as the volunteer coach of the girls on the run program for two seasons, despite not having a child of her own who could participate. She has provided the opportunity for dozens of girls to grow, de develop their confidence and benefit from discussions on peer pressure and positive self-talk. It is not uncommon for the girls to say, Miss Nicole said, followed by some good advice. Nominator, Karen Dastadil shared that her daughter has been greatly impacted by D Ms. Deason and her approach to facing new situations and challenges. Plug in your positive cords so your thoughts are full of glitter and happy colors. Great advice from a true McVeigh gym. Thank you, Ms. Deason. And now Tiffany Hughes from Point View Elementary School. Tiffany Hughes is known throughout Point View, the Point, Point View community as an upbeat, joyful volunteer who has the ability take ownership of a project and see a task through completion in a way that goes above and beyond normal volunteer expectations. As secretary of the PTA, Mrs. Hughes makes quality work a top priority, whether she is preparing minutes, chairing events, or jumping in to take action when additional help is needed. Nominator Charity Groom shares Mrs. Hughes coordinates the twice yearly book fair for the school between the two events likely devotes 80 to 100 hours of her time to the effort. The book fair runs all day for five days, and Mrs. Hughes puts the rest of her life on hold while she manages these events simply because she wants to put free books in students' hands. Her co-chair, Angie Rohrman, shares that Mrs. Hughes often uses her own money to purchase students that to purchase books for students that don't 
quite have enough to purchase on their own. She does this quietly and without recognition each year. Her, follow, her fellow PTA members appreciate all that she has done for the school and will miss her when she moves on to middle school with her child next year. Mrs. Hughes is a treasured gem at Point View, and for that we thank her very much. And next is Eric Indiciani from Robert Frost Elementary School. Eric Indiciani came from Robert Frost Elementary School in 2013 and has made it quite an impact in a short time there. He hit the ground running as a new physical education teacher, but also immediately volunteered to organize and lead a new club called the Fit Frosties Running Club. At the time when it could be hard to motivate students to step away from electronics, Mr. Indiciani's contagious innerism just makes students want to be part of the club and promotes accountability, cooperation, and healthy habits. Nominator Megan Enzor states that on the top of his commitment to the Fit Frosties last year, Mr. I, as he, Mr. I, as he is affectionately known, he had the lofty idea to install a half mile running pass around the perimeter of the school. He volunteered his time to research, design, seek district approval, price out the work, write grants, and fund the project, and organize a 5K race to provide additional funding. All of these goals are achieved and passed. Was in, pass was installed last summer and it was used by both students at the school and the greater Walterwell community. Additionally, Mr. I was awarded a grant this school year that brings archery and curriculum. The Brooken family, who was also nominated Mr. I, shares that he is a great teacher, motivator, team player, and a fun to work with. Mr. I goes above and beyond to bring the R. Frost community together. Parent Bessley McCann comments that Mr. I's innerism is something to behold. He is positive, kind, enthusiastic teacher, but modest and quick to pass on credit to others. Robert Frost Elementary knows that a gym, a gym they have in Mr. I, and they are thrilled that now the rest of the district knows it too. I have a little side note to add here about Eric. In true gem form, he doesn't want to take any of the credit. Um, I am thrilled to say that I'm a colleague of, er of Eric's. He also serves as physical education teacher where I work at Longfellow Elementary School. And Eric sent me an email last week and insisted that I add the following note. Quote from Eric, nothing I have been able to add or accomplish at Robert Frost can solely be attributed to my efforts alone. None of it would be possible if not for the enthusiasm and the support of students, parents, staff, and principals. We all know, isn't that true? Thank you, Eric goes on to say, thank you for all your participation now I can't talk, participation, support, volunteerism, and fundraising that drives the programs at Robert Frost. So thank you, Eric. Next, we recognize Bree Jennings from Whittier Elementary School. Since 2009, Mrs. Jennings has been an ear integral part of the Whittier family serving every year as an active volunteer and PTA member. She is a fixture in the school and widely respected as a hard worker and loved as a caring and positive influence on the children. Teachers rely on her help both in the classroom and doing prep work. Behind the scenes, all while keeping a smile on her face and a happy attitude. Each week, she spends countless hours assisting teachers 
while also serving as the Whittier PTA president. As many of you know, it's not a nine to five job, and Mrs. Jennings spends many hours late at night returning emails, reviewing the budget, coordinating events, and putting together the popular PTA newsletter that serves as a reliable and easy reference for families that want to stay engaged at Whittier. She is a problem solver and creative leader implementing an online system to coordinate volunteers for classrooms as well as managing the school's annual fall festival. Mrs. Jane's husband, Mr. Brad Jane's, nominator of his, nominated his wife for the GEM Award and writes proudly of her many volunteer responsibilities, but perhaps most of all her work with the school staff to raise awareness of issues for students with type 1 diabetes. Mrs. Jane serves as a mentor and valuable resource to families facing this challenging disease. Her efforts create the best environment possible for Whittier students does not go un unnoticed. She is a shining gem and is very much appreciated. Next is Marilyn Rogers from Wilder Elementary School. Fellow Wilder parent Lori Robertson Terry nominated Mrs. Rogers for the GEM Award after spending the past year watching what she calls an incredible volunteer stepped up to ensure that students and staff don't suffer the loss of a special event or program. As the Wilder PTA president, Ms. Jen Mrs. Rogers spends countless hours in the building promoting events, working out details with fundraisers, offering book fairs, recruiting other families to join in providing extra enrichment for all Wilder students. Mrs. Rogers designs, the, designs newsletters to keep Wilder's families informed and engaged at the school and serves as a valuable resource to all families answering questions and concerns from families, students, and staff. Her generosity is second to none, exemplified by her stepping up to plan, fund, and carry out the fall party for a kindergarten classroom that was without a room parent. She purchased treats, led games, and activities for the class, even though she did not have a child involved. Mrs. Rogers is definitely a gem at Wilder and will be sorely missed as she moves on to middle school with her child next year. Thank you, Mrs. Rogers. And now we have Nell Liston from Blended Middle School. Mrs. Liston. Mrs. Nell Liston is described as a truly great ed educator mentor to everyone whom she, with whom she interacts with. Mrs. Liston goes above and beyond her expected roles as a teacher in the autism unit at Blenheim Middle School. Her nominator, a fellow teacher, Victoria Cook, says that Mrs. Liston is the most patient and understanding person, even in the most trying and difficult situations. She routinely works with students outside of her own unit and can be found out blended far outside the expected work hours on weekends, developing plans to meet the needs of her students. Mrs. Liston serves as an advisor to the Student Council and Builders Club, where students work together on activities to better the, to better the blended and vestibule committee. This year, Mrs. Liston worked with students on a food drive and winter clothing drive. Above all, Ms. Cook shares how valuable Mrs. Liston is to the teachers and staff at Blended. Her insight and creativity are sought out and her wisdom imparted to fellow teachers allows her influence to spread across the entire school. Mrs. Liston goes far and above her expected roles as a teacher at Blended. She's a valuable resource and treasured gem. Thank you, Mrs. Liston. <laughs> and 
And now we present Terry Van Huffel from Genoa Middle School. As anyone who has stepped foot into a school knows, the front office is the heartbeat of the building. The teachers and staff of Genoa Middle School enthusiastically state that Mrs. Van Huffel is the perfect person to serve as school secretary and as the welcoming face that greets 900 students each day. Katie Paolini and Anita Liao nominated Mrs. Van Huffel and they share that she has the gift of being able to relate to a wide array of people and problems in a way that shows her warmth and caring. Mrs. Van Huffel is amazing at keeping things in perspective and humorous. A school is only as good as its staff and she makes her Genoa Middle School a great place to be. Her personality is contagious and many of the staff share that, that they greatly appreciate her wit and humor. The nominators and additional staff members felt that an acrostic poem using her first name is a great way to describe Mrs. Van Huffel to everyone. T, tremendous asset to Genoa. E, effervescent. R, rallies around to help. R, reliable, responsible, and really positive. Y, you can count on Terry to make your day extraordinary. Mrs. Van Huffel is a very special gem to everyone at Genoa. Next is Jennifer Cole from Heritage Middle School. Nominator Michelle Clues, the parent of two of Mrs. Cole's students, has watched the impact of Mrs. Cole's teaching for many years. She states that Mrs. Cole is an example of a creative teacher who makes classroom learning engaging and fun. Mrs. Cole has a passion for helping students understand the world around them. She promotes greater awareness in her students and works with them to understand our increasingly interdependent world. Moving the classroom beyond the walls of Heritage, Mrs. Cole worked with Heritage students to, perform, to form a group called Heritage Helps Syria. With Mrs. Cole's guidance, the students have developed ideas to help the Syrian refugees, including reaching out to the International Rescue Committee and developing a plan to raise funds by selling t-shirts. They even created a website to con collect donations. Mrs. Cole serves as an inspiration as she motivates students throughout Heritage to become both better students and more importantly, better people. This is why she is a special gem at Heritage Middle School. And now, Dwight Back from Walnut Springs Middle School. Educator, mentor, coach, cheerleaders. These are just some of the words that nominator Steve Tuzinski uses to, to describe Mr. Dwight Back, the advisor to the Walnut Springs Youth Bass Fishing Club. For over 13 years, Mr. Back has carried on the tradition of teaching students the skills of competitive fishing. Mr. Back coordinates all activities for the fishing club, from recruiting new members to conducting weekly classes to teach students about fishing techniques, equipment and habitat to organizing tournaments. This past year, Mr. Back organized the Hoover Fishing Seminar, which brings over 350 total anglers to the school to learn about fishing in Hoover Reservoir and serves as the group's fundraising event. With spring in the air, Mr. Back then arranges for students to compete in 10 to 12 competitive fishing tournaments, as well as community service projects, such as habitat cleanups. The club celebrated 40 years of existence this year, with Mr. Back being only the third advisor to hold the position. This speaks volumes of his dedication to the club and his students. The hours he commits to the club cannot be counted, and his enthusiasm has not dwindled since the day he, he took over. It's no fish tale that he is a gem at Walnut Springs. <laughs> now, 
Next, we present Kyle Sutton from Westerville Central High School. Known around the building as Kyle the Trainer, Mr. Sutton served as head trainer for approximately 800 students and 30 different athletic teams during his seven years at Central. Technically an employee of Ohio Health, Mr. Sutton did much more than watch over the athletes of the school and work to ensure their health and wellness while playing sports. He was truly a member of the Warhawk staff and made himself a highly visible figure in the building. He volunteered at building events and fundraisers, attended staff functions and trainings, donated money and items for silent auctions throughout the year, and attended numerous prep assemblies. Mr. Sutton created social media accounts on Twitter and Instagram so that the, so that the students and families could follow along with central athletic activities. Always looking to generate more school spirit, he created tr trivia contests for students to follow on these accounts and rallied students and staff around the philanthropic endeavors carried out by, by the school. Nominator Kathy Klosterman states that she knows of no other training staff who works as hard as Kyle does to create special bonds between trainer, faculty, and athletes. Despite now living in Kentucky, Mrs. Klosterman notes that some of Mr. Sutton's best friends are coaches and faculty members from Central. She states that Kyle Sutton truly went above and beyond his job and is sorely missed by many at the school. Once a Warhawk, always a Warhawk. Thank you, Mr. Sutton, for being a true gent. Now we present Kendra Polito from Westerville North High School. Mrs. Polito has touched students' lives for 30 years as an English teacher at Westerville North High School. She has taught almost every course in the department. Nominator Stephanie McGeorge comments that it is evident that Mrs. Polito's heart lies with, lies with touching the lives of her students and ensuring that they are given the opportunity to gain a global perspective and be challenged while learning. But what Mrs. Polito contributes outside of the classroom is what sets her apart and shows what a true gem she really is. Mrs. Polito serves as senior class advisor and donates many of her hours of free time to helping students write and revise their college application essays and is a wealth of resources for students exploring their post-secondary plans. She, en she is an enthusiastic supporter of all things North and makes it a point to attend sports events, concert plays, and was even asked by a North recreational basketball team to be their team mom. She organizes numerous school spirit events for their senior class, and students know that she is one of their most ardent supporters. Mrs. McGeorge adds that she cannot imagine what it'll be like when Mrs. Polito one day retires and moves on from North. She fulfills so many roles and is a truly dedicated Westerville North warrior. The school has been blessed with her contributions for many years. For these reasons, she is a true North gem. Next is Jeanette Talama from Westerville South High School. Nominator Julie Villagrez begins her nomination for Mrs. Talama by saying, I honestly am not sure that Jeanette sleeps. She is always doing something for the students at Westerville South and has dedicated countless hours to make a positive difference in the lives of South students and staff. This year was no exception. Mrs. Talama has served as the president of the South Academic Boosters for three years and every year increases the number of families and staff who become members. Jeanette organizes the group's largest fundraiser, the annual silent auction, as well as coordinating scholars' night dinners, staff appreciation events, and serves as a representative on Westerville Parent Council, where she sits on a number of district committees. Mrs. Talama also donates many hours to the girls' soccer team and the South Swim team. She's gone above and beyond for the team by taking photographs at every single game and meet of every South team member and compiling an individualized photo album for each one. A wonderful thing to do for your own child, but a truly touching keepsake for 30 students. Mrs. Talama's passion for South and her positive and professional attitude make her a true gem. Thank you, Mrs. Talama.
Next is our first of four district award recipients. Andrew Boatwright, while serving as the manager of the Westerville Electric Division, Andrew Boatwright made a huge lasting impact on science edu education in Westerville schools. Sadly for us, Mr. Boatwright has taken a new job out of state and is unable to join us this evening to accept his award. Interim Electric Utility Manager, Mr. Chris Monticelli, will accept the award on Mr. Boatwright's behalf. In 2000, Mr. Boatwright initiated the Westerville Energy Education Partnership and proposed that the city support the program with the funding that the teachers professional development, that, the, that provides teacher professional development, student leadership programs for our middle school and high schools, and energy programs for every fifth grader, plus community outreach for every school in the district. As a result of Mr. Boatwright's passion for our students, a tree seedling is planted each year for every fifth grader in the district. Nominator Sue Tenney shared that under Mr. Boatwright's leadership last year, over 4,200 students were directly impacted and every school in the district used Ohio Energy Partnership programs in some way. Westerville North Science teacher Lindsay Manzo writes that from training middle school and high school students to facilitating energy fairs to arranging for job shadow opportunities for exceptional high school students, Mr. Boatwright went well above and beyond expectations in looking for ways to strengthen the partnership between city departments and the school district. Faust Elementary Principal, Mr. Rob Stranges, shares that the teachers across the district feel that students leave elementary school with a vast knowledge of energy education, thanks to the support that the classroom teachers receive because of Mr. Boatwright's leadership. Next time you are out and about, take a close look at some of the trees in Westerville Public Spaces and think fondly of Mr. Boatwright and his inspiring dedication to Westerville students. Next, we honor Lauren Hoffman with a District Gem Award. We are very fortunate to have many involved parents in our school district, writes nominator Kevin Hoffman, but Lauren Hoffman takes involved parenting to an extreme, to the benefit of our students, teachers, and the district as a whole. Mrs. Hoffman has been an active parent leader for many years, beginning with her service as PTA president at Emerson Elementary and Heritage PTSA, as well as serving as a Westville parent, council officer, and representative. As a parent of two high schoolers at two different schools, she works tirelessly as an advocate for all students and families. The list of groups to which she gives her time and talents include academic, athletic, and IB boosters, as well as a term as a middle school PTSA president, when no one stepped up to serve, and she didn't even have a child at the school. Over and over again, her colleagues remark that she always steps up to fill a need as a result. She earned the respect of hundreds of parents, teachers, administrators, and students from across the district. Fellow Westerville North parents Tracy King and Janet Steele share that Mrs. Hoffman devotes much of her time to raising the funds needed to ensure that no student misses out on academic and sport endeavors due to lack of funds. Most striking to the South Assistant Principal Mike Hines is Mrs. Hoffman's willingness to give individual attention to students and families. Students and parents alike respect her and seek her input. Colleagues Tracy Davidson and Nancy McFarlane write in their nomination that Mrs. Hoffman is always willing to go above and beyond in whatever she does, and that her friendly smile and the get it done attitude make her invaluable to the students and staff in Westerville City Schools. Mrs. Hoffman, you are truly a treasured gem. Our next, our next District GEM Award recipient is Leslie Walden. Leslie Walden's dedication to all Westerville School's children lies at the heart of her extraordinary volunteerism. Nominator Jen Altman writes that Mrs. Walden works every single day to promote equality of opportunity for all students out of a strong pride for both Westerville Schools and her community. Her most significant impact is through her work with the nonprofit organization Westerville Partners for Education. A founding member, Mrs. Walden has served as the group's treasurer and has spent countless hours assisting the startup for fine accounting systems, complying with the legal requirements, and taking care of all of the details that are cumbersome and definitely not glamorous, but are critical to the group's ability to function. As her husband John Walden writes in his nomination, it's about what others do not see, where Leslie goes above and beyond her students and families. As board member of Westerville Partners for Education, 
Mrs. Walton has also taken on the huge task of coordinating all of the marketing needs for the annual Starry Night Science and Art Family Festival. Her efforts have helped the event attract more than 1,500 students and families, all in an effort to create partnerships and expand learning opportunities for all students. In addition to these endeavors, Mrs. Walden has been an instrumental in, in the creation of one-on-one -on -one tutoring program at Point View Elementary School, as well as coordinating volunteer support for the new all-day kindergarten classes housed at Longfellow Elementary School. And let's not forget her work connecting Girl Scouts with the Westerville Partners for Education Literacy effort called Book Bonanza. Mrs. Walden's leadership resulted in Girl Scouts creating a lending library with Book Bonanza in a complex that houses many English language learners. Her work helps reach more students, propel more learning, fuel more opportunity. Mrs. Walden, we fondly recognize you for the gem you truly are. Our final District Gem Award recipient for this year is David Walker. David Walker once told a parent that there is no place he would rather be than in the kindergarten classroom. Once you learn a bit more about him, we think you will agree. Mr. Walker was nominated for a District Gem Award by McVeigh Elementary Kindergarten parent, Holly Spadero, who states that having seen dozens of teachers over the years, none have impressed her more than Mr. Walker. From his home visits during the summer to meet his students and their families, to welcoming parents into the classroom on the first day of school, Mr. Walker sets a tone of cooperation, support, and caring for some of our youngest learners. He is known for his guitar playing and joyful singing that inspires both students and adults alike. Not only has Mrs. Spadero witnessed Mr. Walker's rising above typical teacher expectations, she, she asked his colleagues from across the district to weigh in. Mark Twain kindergarten teacher, Heather Ivory, shares that his communication with parents is unmatched. He has been known to drive to students' homes to make meetings easier. One of his greatest strengths is his willingness to mentor new teachers. Longfellow teacher Stephen Veltry shares that Mr. Walker works to make sure that I am reaching my full potential. It has been rewarding to watch him in action and learn from one of the best. Many parents express their joy in watching the children perform in the kindergarten concert that Mr. Walker coordinated joining all six classes from both Mark Twain Elementary and McVeigh Elementary. Mr. Walker teaches at both schools and McVeigh Principal Scott May is quick to share that Mr. Walker is always willing to go above and beyond to meet the needs of his students on a daily basis without being asked. Mrs. Spadero may say it best when she ends her nomination with her son's announcement that he wants to be a teacher, just like Mr. Walker. There is truly some great inspiration going on in Mr. Walker's classroom no one wants to miss the fun, the fun, especially him. Mr. Walker, you are a true gem to our Westville community, and we thank you. And now I'd like to say a few words about our business gem recipient this year. Um, it is called the Terry Gordon Business Award. And this year it is being presented to a uh, local company, Lakeshore Cryotronics. Uh, the award was named for Mr. Terry Gordon, who was a dedicated member of the Roush Honda team for many years. Terry came from a long line of educators in his family, and he was once a teacher himself. He held great respect for those who worked in public education, and he wished he had had more opportunities to thank those who had helped him with his own education. In 2003, Terry and Westerville Parent Council President Cherie Richards worked together to create the GEM Awards as a way to honor and celebrate those educators and volunteers who go above and beyond for our students. Sadly, Terry died in 2006, but is fondly remembered both at Roush Honda and Westerville Parent Council for his passion and support of education. The Business Award was created to honor his memory, and this year we are pleased to present it to Westerville, Westerville's own Lakeshore Cryotronics, and accepting the award on behalf of the company tonight is Mr. Michael Schwartz. And Jordan has a few words to share about the company with you. Thank you. Since the late 1970s, Lakeshore Cryotronics has made Westerville its home. 
where it produces devices that measure the thermal, electronic, and magnetic properties of the materials at extreme temperatures. The company's customers are primarily scientific researchers working in national laboratories, the high-tech industry, and academia. The company website states that they foster a culture of collaboration and innovation and a commitment to the pursuit of science. This makes them a perfect community partner for Westerville City Schools. Each fall, the company hosts a student career day where Westerville juniors and seniors have the opportunity to observe how Lakeshore's products are created and discover the skills necessary to produce them. Westerville North students have gone on to intern with the company as well. The company also reaches out to the school system when they have scientific equipment that they will no longer need. Currently, discussions are taking place on how the district might use a large electromagnet in the engineering fab lab that will be constructed at Westerville North this summer. North Science teacher, teacher Lindsay Manzo shares that Lakeshore Cryotronics also donates a large supply of liquid nitrogen used in demonstrations for over 300 students in chemistry classes. Lakeshore Cryotronics employee Betsy Krause, a Westerville parent whose late daughter Sarah was a student at North, started a fund in her daughter's memory that provides additional science support and supplies to Westerville schools. Things like a gardening shed and two high-tech coolers to hold liquid nitrogen at North funds for staff training in STEM education, equipment to enrich science curricula, science Olympiad and robotics teams, and over $30,000 in scholarships. Community partners like the one Westerville Schools shares with Lakeshore Cryotronics are a vital component in our quest to provide students with a 21st century education. We are proud to honor this gem of a local company for their stellar example of corporate philanthropy. Well, that's all of them this year. Let's give them another round of applause, shall we? There are many fulfilling volunteer jobs out there in the world. I know many of you have served in them. You've heard about quite a few of them this evening. For me personally, carrying out the GEM Awards program is one of the very best, and I think Candy would agree with me, wouldn't you? It's a, a joyful occasion and something we look forward to every spring. I hope you leave here tonight both inspired by our winners and secure in the knowledge that our community cares very, very deeply for the students in our district. One of the things that always jumps out at me while reviewing a list of past winners was just how many of those winners have gone on to nominate others who they believe are also gems. Clearly, they believe in paying it forward. And if I may, I would like to challenge all of this year's winners to pay it forward next year by nominating that someone special that you know to be a Westerville gem. I would like to make a final round of thank yous before we say goodnight. First, to our host, Westerville North High School, Mr. Yancey, thank you so very much. And the Westerville North Custodial Facilities Management Team headed up by Mr. John Edwards. Thank you. We'd also like to thank Gary Henkels and the Westerville South Food Service Team for their support this evening. Lynn Maslowski, our fabulous and talented district photographer. Head of Community Outreach for our district, thank you very much. And the super fabulous Jill Beck, executive assistant to our superintendent. Jill, we could not do this event without you. We love you, thank you very much. I'd also like to thank the Westerville Parent Council Board, this, who is here this evening working hard, as well as all of our district GEM committee members, our building GEM chairs, and the many volunteers who helped make this evening such a success. I'd like to ask the recipients that uh, once the um, Vice President Villardo finishes up the meeting for the evening, that you come back up on stage for a group photo. And then winners, when you leave, there's a table out in the hallway that contains uh, an envelope for you as well as a box for your trophy. With that, 
I would like to thank you all again for coming this evening. I look forward to seeing you all again next year and many more of our wonderful staff and volunteers. And with that, I hand the program back to Vice President Villardo. She'll get mad at me later for saying this, but a huge round of applause to Lisa O'Coin for all the work that she's done and representing here. Uh, Lisa did say that at the conclusion of this meeting, and so while I have you here, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not going to keep you any longer. I, it is at uh, times like this, let me just say, it is at times like this, hearing all the work that that these gems do and being reminded of all the work and talent that we have in our staff, in our teachers, in our administration. It is at times like this that I am reminded in my heart, truth be told, I'm reminded in my soul how blessed I am, how blessed we are to be your Board of Education. We take the role very seriously and we are beyond honored to represent you to try and continue the great work that you do to make this a great district. So one more round of applause for the tremendous gems that we have. And to conclude this meeting, just let me remind you that the board will meet in regular session April 25th, 2016, and on May 9, 2016, 6 p.m. in the Early Learning Center, 936 East Wind Drive, and you are all welcome to join us at those meetings. And at that, I'll remind the GEM Award winners to come forward for their uh, picture on stage, but I announce that this meeting is adjourned.